Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you with me. I hope you're all doing well. Today's pick a card reading is about their true feelings for you. So if you have a person and you're wondering what their true feelings are for you, how did they truly honestly feel about you, then I hope this reading is for you. There are three piles to choose from. This is pile number one with the rose quartz crystal. Okay, pile number two with the amethyst crystal. Right, and pile number three with the green fluorite crystal. So just choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to, and after you're done choosing, you can skip ahead to your reading using the timestamps down below. But before we get started, please take a quick moment to hit like, and also to subscribe to the channel for more readings like this. And if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using for today's reading, you'll find all the links in the description box below so you can check them out. And without further ado, I'll see you on your reading. Hello my beautiful pal number one, welcome to your reading to everyone who chose the Rose Quartz Crystal. So let's see what are your person's true feelings for you. And now let's see what are the cards that you were drawn to. I chose five cards. Um, out of the deck, so the cards that fell out of the deck when I was shuffling for uh, preparing the piles, then the cards are for you. And we have I am blocked, so these are channel messages from a person, or like what would they tell you, how do they truly feel, so your person is feeling really blocked, they feel like their uh, road to you is blocked metaphorically speaking or even physically could be that there's distance and there are certain circumstances that don't let them come in closer to you or it could be an emotional blockage um communication blockage like an inability to reach out to you to communicate either um like because you are not open to that or it could be that they feel a struggle a, an internal blockage okay let's see i'm afraid to lose you so your person is also feeling like scared to to lose you they really cherish you and they value um your presence in their life they feel like you are someone very special very unique to them very important to them and they're scared to lose you why is it that you love me? It looks like your person has a little bit of a, an issue with like their self-esteem or they might be feeling like they don't deserve you or like they're questioning why is it that you love me? They feel that they are not worthy of your love or they cannot see how is it possible that a person like you loves them. I'm scared of rejection. So yet again, it's like, I'm afraid to lose you, I'm scared of rejection. Maybe they're blocked to come towards you, to express their feelings maybe, or to talk, to communicate, you know, about their feelings um, because of a fear to get rejected, a fear of losing you, a fear of your reaction that might lead to losing you. Or you saying no, maybe no to them coming back to you, no saying no to their apology, not accepting their apology. So depending on how this resonates uh, in your situation, we have please do what is best for your heart. So your person feels like genuinely cares for you. And because of that, they are sort of saying like, just do what is going to bring you the most value to just do what's going to make you happier what's best for you look out for your highest good um so they are not kind of like becoming like towards their feelings i mean like really pushy or really um kind of wrapping you around and putting pressure on you they truly care about you and you're about your well-being they have their best intention at heart when it comes to you and they truly want you to be happy even if it's with them or without them they care about your well-being and your happiness in general okay let's take a look at your tarot cards now panel number one and see what else we have okay eight of cups justice okay Four of 
four of cups, nine of cups, and queen of wands. Right, so let's take a look at your tarot cards now. Pile number one. Well, what I'm feeling from these cards is that it, it looks like your person is very attracted to you with the Queen of Wands, like they feel a strong passion towards you. They're pretty much still very attached to you, very attracted to you. They see you like as irresistible. They have a strong desire to be with you. They feel like this urge to just be around you, to like um, even affectionate at a physical level to be with you, okay? To be with you at a... Um, affectionate at a physical level this is what i'm trying to say like they truly feel blocked from coming and expressing their passion and this attraction that's all battle up because of the of the blockage but yeah they see you as irresistible they find you magnetic they find you very charismatic very good looking charming okay and I see that for them, you are the definition of the person that would make them happiest, the happiest with the nine of cups, like you make them feel accomplished, you make them feel like there's nothing else missing, right? Um, there's no need for anyone, there's no need for nothing, like you are the main thing that is kind of like mm, filling their heart with happiness and with this feeling of joy and fulfillment, you know, really quickly I will, I will feel like mentioning the fact that because we have the queen of wands like one of the messages that are coming to my head is like that they see you as a god or a goddess you know whatever they see you as this person like they put you kind of on a pedestal and that's why from what i'm uh, sensing in these first cards uh definitely there is a bit of a um self-esteem issue as i said or it could be that they see you like kind of at a higher position and they kind of don't feel 100% like they deserve you or that they are, you know, um, on your level. They don't meet at the same level with you. And that's why they kind of are scared to lose you because you are this super attractive person. You seem to, like, the way they perceive it is like you're in the center of attention. You can have anyone you want. Like, everyone seems to be drawn to you. The Queen of Wands is a very charismatic energy. Like, um very popular very and if it's not resonating with you the word popular is just like people sense your energy and they're attracted to you they're drawn to you okay it's just like you have this magnetism about you okay um and that's why they might be scared to lose you or it could be also like the fact that they see you very independent there's another message here like strongly uh with independence so maybe they see you now like really focusing on yourself, focusing on your, um, like feeling good about yourself, doing things that make you feel good, that you feel good in your own skin. And you might be even like focusing more on your appearance, on um, like your well-being and just like you glow. Okay. This is how they see you, pal number one, that you glow and is like, they see us so independent, they're scared of losing you. They're also scared that you might say no because you're just like in this kind of next level phase. But uh, yeah, definitely with the Nine of Cups, uh, coming back to the Nine of Cups, I see that your person feels like you give them that uh, sense of fulfillment, right? And it looks like here with the Eight of Cups that they left, right? Um they left a situation and i'm sensing that they regret or it could be also with the eight of cups that they decided to walk away right and maybe now they want to come back because i see here with the four of cups that they give you an offer and you seem to uh, ignore it okay they sense like you're ignoring their offer you're ignoring uh their messages maybe you don't respond to their calls you you don't accept their um, like them reaching out and kind of coming back into your life that's why they feel blocked like i am blocked resonates in the same way with the energy of the four of cups like a cup being offered to you an offer of um of love or an apology uh, whatever right coming at you and you uh like not accepting it 
So they are scared of this rejection. They are scared of losing you because somehow they uh, see you maybe like being pulled away, moving on. Right? Maybe this is your energy with this Eight of Cups. Maybe they see you as like walking and they see you from the back, like how it's normally portrayed in the, the original tarot. And they see you like how you walk away. But it could be also them who was the person that decided to walk away. And yeah, but here with the, why is it that you love me, right? Um, could be like something that has to do with the past, right? Like, um, why is it that you used to love me? What did you find in me in the first place? Okay, or yeah, could be also here with the justice that your person is trying to make things the right way. They're trying to make up for something. They're trying to bring balance back. They're trying to kind of make justice, uh, bring justice back to you, okay? Uh, so do things the right way. Okay, let's take a look at your oracles. And we have why. Oh my God. So we had why is it that you love me? And we have why again. So maybe why uh, you're not responding my uh, text or messages? Why am I blocked? Why is it that you um, maybe they feel like you still got feelings for them? You know, and they're wondering like, how can you still have feelings for them since they chose to walk away? But at the same time, could be why are you treating me with coldness yeah we have please do what is best for your heart as well as i mentioned so i feel like your person kind of realizes that they didn't treat you the right way now they want to treat you the right way and they are like why is it that you love me because look at what uh, i did or how i treated you and now they want to come back we have loyal heart so your person definitely feels very loyal to you as i said there's no one else you make them feel complete they're they're loyal to you okay pal number one they have feelings and eyes only for you let's see let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally so your person is trying to kind of like let go and let everything move in a natural flow because they feel like the more they need to control things, the more they probably go, they're going to push you away. As I said, like do be, do what's best for your heart. They're trying to kind of like mind their step, right? And mind your boundaries and not push you too much, not uh, suffocate you. We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So maybe you are married with this person and now you're in separation or you were about to get married with this person you were engaged perhaps with this person you know you're, you're in separation or this person is thinking about coming back and asking to marry them to propose to you uh in a in an attempt to make things right and kind of show the real commitment with loyal heart okay let's see what else we have coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship so they want to kind of come closer to you they want to talk they want to converse they want to um talk things through see them reaching out they want to talk to you okay and they want to savor the moment and the chance to enjoy your company as i said they like love to be around you they love your energy they feel so uplifted by you they want to kind of be your friends again gain your friendship again as well we have paradise happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other so they dream of these paradise they dream about a wedding of getting married to you they dream about a possible happiness that's going to come in your connection they want this connection to kind of come back to you know like a sense of oneness you two enjoying each other being around you okay so this is everything that i have for you my beautiful pal number one i really hope you enjoyed today's reading if you did don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye
Hello my beautiful pile number two, welcome to your reading to everyone who chose the Amethyst Crystal. So let's see what are your person's true feelings for you. Now let's take a look at the cards that you were drawn to, which are five uh, oracle cards with channel messages from your person, um, are the cards that uh, fell out of the deck when I was shuffling to prepare the piles. So let's see what we have for you. This is what your person wants to say, how they feel. Okay, how they truly feel for you. And we have the first one. I have to let you go to find myself. So your person, pile number two, is truly feeling that in order to find themselves, they need to let you go. They need to move on from you to um, leave you in the past or to distance themselves from you. We have people don't believe in me. So maybe it is a journey to prove themselves to kind of like get validation to kind of like feel like they proved something about themselves because it looks like they need to find themselves and also they feel like people don't believe maybe in themselves uh sorry people don't believe in them or people don't believe in them achieving their dreams in their capacities in their abilities and i just get this message of like they want to prove them wrong or they want to kind of like show the world that uh, they can achieve anything they put their mind to. I can't express myself. So there is a blockage in the communication. Um, they find it hard to put in the, uh, into words how they feel. Okay, for you, pal number two. Um, it's not an easy decision, perhaps, or it's like they feel like they have mixed feelings, right? Or they just find it such a hard and delicate uh, subject that they find it hard to talk about it i don't know who i am anymore so yeah that's why they want to let go and find themselves because they don't know who they are anymore they have like an identity crisis they have a situation where they really need to find maybe just reconnect to themselves find who they truly are what do they want from life what do they want to do like from now on who are they like what's their identity who they identify as um, what do they like, what they don't like. Maybe they just come out of a situation that threw them like into such a identity crisis, right? Could be like a situation, maybe a long-term relationship, maybe um, like a job that they did for a long time or career path or living in a different country. And maybe now they just have this moment of like, I need to, I need time to find myself. I need to be on my own to find myself. So it's not about that. They don't have feelings for you okay uh they don't let they i feel like they don't want to let you go just because they don't have feelings for you anymore but it's truly because they need to do that for them it's kind of like they owe that to themselves okay and i feel like it's about healing as well and we have you are so different from everyone around me so your person is also feeling that you're very special and unique to them you don't compare to anyone else from their life like you get them the most or you to connect it at such a deep level or just like in general you are the kind of person that they don't very often come across like you are a very unique person and they acknowledge that about you let's take a look at your tarot cards now and see what else we have nine of wands Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and Eight of Wands. All right, so, pile number two. I feel like um, your person is kind of like in a point in their life where they feel like exhausted with this Nine of Wands. They feel drained. They feel burnt out. Um, it looks like they definitely are find themselves like through in some sort of situation. Like they find themselves right now in a time in their life where they kind of need to reinvent themselves or they need to kind of make a decision or to reconnect to themselves, to find themselves again. And definitely maybe it is something about a betrayal. Okay. So it could be something that has to do with you with the seven of swords um this feeling of ex uh, exhaustion could be 
like really being in such a long distance uh sorry long term relationship yeah long term relationship or being so uh strongly connected or uh, as at least this is how they thought right and to reach to a point where they feel like you've done something behind their back you've broke their trust you've um you've been hiding something from them right with the seven of swords with the ten of swords because this reading is meant to see how they truly feel about you so obviously these are energies between you and them and with the ten of swords also there is a message of being like stabbed in their back like feeling heartbroken but heartbroken in like also having their trust broken right it's really important because that's the main message of the ten of swords so with these two cards is like really reinforced that same message of betrayal of feeling um like someone did something behind their back so in this case it is about you you hide something or you did something that made them feel like their trust has been broken so maybe that's why like they kind of identified you know with this connection they saw you in this way in this particular light and now it kind of looks like their whole uh, their whole world was true away and now they kind of have to find their pieces back okay and that's why they feel like so exhausted as well because i'm sensing like really drain you know, being really drained emotionally and all these pain that i see here like in heartbreak and heart pain uh emotional uh, pain that i see here really is making them feel um so drained and, and tired and exhausted emotionally and they need some time apart they need some sort of break okay like it looks like they want to kind of have some time to find themselves that's why they even can't express themselves because it looks like they kind of lack the words they don't even have words for it anymore like they truly just need to find themselves and we have also here like reinforced i don't know who i am anymore it's like i don't have a clue what um, my identity is or how do i relate to this connection or how um who am i and what am i supposed to be in you know in this situation there as i said i strongly feel like their whole life has been like kind of true through on the on the window okay uh, thrown away on the window and yeah i feel like after this time that they need okay they have the intention of reaching out to you with the eight of wands they want to reach out to you definitely they still have feelings for you they still have attraction they still have the passion for you and with the page of pentacles it looks like they kind of want to start a fresh chapter where there is more commitment where there is more security where there is more stability okay this is what the page of pentacles is about about the start of a journey that brings more stability with it okay this is about um commitment about something solid okay something you can be sure about let's take a look at your oracles number two and see what we have regeneration yes your person is in the need to heal right now they are having some time where they need to heal they truly feel like they need to regenerate themselves to rise uh, up from the ashes see like this earth this burnt earth represents the connection their heart their feelings like their life has been kind of burnt down to the ashes and now they need to find a way on rising up again and feeling fresh again feeling renewed regenerated and able to kind of start a fresh chapter into their life okay let's see what else we have for pile number two we have more cards in here poised so this is a card of freedom they want to find freedom they want to find themselves they want to kind of 
like rise up from these ashes and and feel the air and breathe in like fresh air and feel the freedom um i feel like they don't want to feel connected to the pain anymore and this is going to be them free and uh, healing and freeing themselves from the pain from the hurt okay from the hurting see the new leaves sprouting in this new tree it can be just like um your relationship starting to sprout again as well like the feelings are there and i'm sensing how it's going to come out of the ashes it's going to rise up and it's going to like they they want to reach out as i said like afterwards but they just need to heal first we have thinker so yes there are a lot up in their head with the swords especially they're a lot a lot up in their head they've been overthinking a lot they are exhausted they are tired of how much noise there is up in their head they've just like been all caught up in their head with all the noise all the thoughts all the uh, voices right we also have a leg up and this card uh, suggests when you cannot do something on your own and you need help so they feel like in this journey to heal they need help they need support they can't do it on their own okay let's see what else we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so it looks like um your person might also have like healing to do when it comes to their family members their family life i feel like in some cases very few of you in panel number two um i'm just like saying that because obviously this is a reading that has to do with true feelings for you right so for a few of you in pile number two it could be that this um sense of hurt and betrayal in in lack of trust in an exhaustion can be coming in from like wounds that stem from childhood or like issues that they have with their own family and they need time to be on their own even from you in order to find themselves and to heal but yeah let's see this could be the one you've already met a romantic partner that you seek so this is suggesting that your person doesn't want anyone else they just want you they they thought that in you they found that person that romantic partner that they've seeked all along that there's no one else out there for them like you are there the one or you could be there the one but it looks like that's why they even felt so hurt and so betrayed because it was like the more commitment or the more you thought about a connection you know the more value you put into a connection the more it's gonna hurt right when those expectations won't be met let's see we have kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love so your person is, still has feelings for you they love you unconditionally and they still like dream about uh being with you giving and receiving affection they want i'm sensing from this card that they want a connection where the dynamic feels mutual like it's a give and take type of dynamic both you and your person to be involved in the connection equally to be invested in a connection equally to be committed in the same way to give and also to receive affection it's really important for them we have the snake competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman so could be again about betrayal here your person feeling that there's another person that there's competition for you uh that they're that they see as the enemy right they see a person that's just like you know maybe looking over their shoulder in a way this is expressing that that particular person if they if they know each other right in real life or if they know who the person is uh and if they if it happened yeah to meet if they know each other um could be resonating for some of you then that means that they see that person like kind of noticing their 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 looks their looks looking different than other people right and yeah they definitely see that sense that there is someone else or competition 
we have the chaser chaser in a codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues so they feel like they've been the chaser in a relationship that felt codependent um that's why they want like this uh dynamic that is a mutual energy right it's a mutual one they don't want to be the chaser anymore they feel like they've been that person that was just fearing to get abandoned to get um left right so yeah they, they don't want that anymore okay so this is everything that i have for you my beautiful pal number two i really hope you enjoyed today's reading if you did don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye hello my beautiful pal number three welcome to your reading to everyone who chose the green fluorite crystal so let's see what are your person's true feelings for you so now let's see the cards that you were drawn to which are channel messages from your person some oracle cards that have messages so we're going to see how your person's feeling how your person's um thinking or what do they want to tell you um so yeah these are cards that fell out of the deck when i was shuffling uh, the, for preparing the piles so let's see we have i can't promise you anything so your person seems to have like an inability uh, sorry inability or like an issue with commitment um in this case at least in this moment in their life at least it looks like your person feels like they cannot give you something secure something sure okay something solid um something that you can count on and you can say yeah they've promised me uh, or i'm sure that this is like what we're going to do this is how we are going to um you know do things from now on or even like giving their word right and kind of having some sort of weight to that word they feel like they cannot do that hence they cannot promise you anything like they don't feel like they're in a position right now to say anything for sure or to commit, right? We also have, I am stuck in visions of us together. So your person is thinking about you quite a lot, pal number three. Your person is like, like thinking about you in such ways that um, also involves like having visions, like imagining you two together. So they are very attracted to you and they have like this strong desire towards you i'm sensing um like their mind keeps spinning and you're in every thought in every thought of theirs right we have i wish i could be fully honest with you so your person like wishes to be 100 honest wishes to be 100 open and raw and more straightforward with what they think what they uh, what they feel like they want to tell you but it looks like they're in a situation where they kind of don't feel okay or ready for some reason to open up to be committed to be vulnerable to be fully honest so it looks like they need to deal with something because they are thinking about you there are feelings in there that they have for you it's like something is keeping them from being fully honest these feelings are eating me alive so yeah it looks like there's a battle an inner battle going on like <laughs> between themselves and their own feelings and thoughts like they have feelings for you they think about you um but at the same time it looks like they cannot commit they cannot promise you anything they cannot be fully honest with you and these are the feelings that are eating them alive i sense some turmoil something like unsettling feelings there is not like peace in their heart right now what do you see in me so they're even asking like what do you even see in me like why are you even interested in me or why do you have feelings in me um for me sorry because they might think that they're guilty like deep down they might feel this sense of guilt for not being fully committed for not being fully honest with you and they're like kind of having in their most genuine intentions yeah uh moments 
um, they kind of think like, oh, why, why are you even here? Or what do you even see in me? Like, just find a better person because I'm, I'm not so good that I should be or that you deserve. This is also what I'm feeling. Okay, so with these feelings are enemy alive, seems like there's some guilt, some uh, guilt for not being the person, the partner that they know that you deserve or that you're requesting, okay? Or they know that there's a battle here, like from what they want to be doing and what they can do. But yeah, let's take a look at your tarot cards now and see more about their true feelings for you. So we have the strength card. We have the four of wands. We have the ten of wands. Wheel of fortune. And the five of pentacles. Okay. I just found the Tempress <laughs> when I was putting away the deck. I found the Tempress also flipped, so I'm gonna keep it. So pile number three, I feel like your person is like definitely having a battle in here. Either like this inner battle being portrayed in the Ten of Wands or actual challenges that they need to overcome, actual uh, obstacles that they need to fight off and overcome in their like life such as responsibilities, such as um, a job or um, even like internal personal issues that they need to sort out here with the Ten of Wands. It looks like they're just determined to kind of deal with this. They cannot promise you anything right now, but it looks like they hope for things to change in the better, okay? Uh, and it looks like they're really patient right now. They're like, I am patient. I know this challenges these obstacles are going to be overcome and there is going to be a time where i finally get to celebrate being able to to do what i want or being able to be free to uh yeah like maybe be fully honest with you finally okay because they wish to be fully honest with you it looks like they're battling some sort of challenges as it said and they're really determined to overcoming those the ten of wands shows determination shows willpower shows like not giving up being all fired up and hyped and just determined and having a strong yeah we have the strength like a strong willpower to overcome those and being sure that you can do this right but yeah with the strength card also it shows that they feel the need to gain back their inner strength in order to carry this battle and to overcome these challenges because right now with the five of pentacles your person is feeling very lonely very lonely the five of pentacles is a card of loneliness a card of abandonment a card of feeling left alone left behind um abandoned and like you, you don't have a sense of belonging and it, it looks like a person is just like really getting armed with a lot of patience with a temperance and they're like battling these obstacles and i feel like what they want to gain out of it is inner peace inner peace um balance a sense of feeling grounded okay and just internal peace with the temperance um, and they need to get all the inner strength possible in order to do that in order to carry this battle but they hope a lot for things things to change for the better with the will of fortune they hope and they truly believe that this or uh, challenges this situation is going to be overcome and there's going to come better times right um they're not gonna feel lonely anymore there's not gonna be this low vibrational energy anymore with the five of pentacles they're going to overcome that and the will uh, of fortune is going to change for the better the will of fortune brings good luck good good fortune blessings and they know that that's going to happen and with the four of wands they dream about like celebrating this win of the battle okay to celebrate and to cheer uh, maybe the opportunity to to do what they feel like doing, right? And not just having to deal with this 
Also, this can be a reunion between the two of you, or even for some of you, four of ones is a a representative of engagement. So they could even be hoping that they're going to overcome some challenges. Uh, This feeling of loneliness could be that they feel so like lonely for not being able to be fully honest and transparent and vulnerable with you and kind of get to because this way if they were to be so honest and vulnerable it would lead to having a strong solid connection between the two of you and this i feel like this is how they want to be connected with you it's not like they have an issue of commitment because now that i see more cards it shows that this person wants to commit to you but it looks like there are some obstacles that need to be overcome and these feelings of loneliness is like a sense of not belonging it's like the five of pentacles is like being pushed out right normally it's like being out from the church and and feeling like you've been kicked out so they feel like they're being left out from being fully integrated and and connected uh, to you and to emerge into this connection at the intensity that they would desire but they say like i cannot promise you anything and i feel like it's not because of lack of commitment but i feel like it's because of not wanting to keep you tied to them in case things don't end the way that they want or in case things don't arrange the way that they want and they don't want you to suffer they don't want you to wait for them that's why we even have like what do you see in me like i'm also hearing like i have so many issues or i have things to sort out like why do you even see me like you could be just happy but they are stuck in vision uh in visions of you two together because they love you because they have feelings for you these feelings are eating them alive because they have because they have like i'm getting too excited sorry but because they have like strong desire to be with you and something is keeping them away or keeping their attention away and they're like i can't promise you anything i need to deal with this but in the meantime like they they hope to be with you and to reunite with you for some of you as i said this can be even engagement this can be like getting married even the four of wands is like uh stability the four pylons or even a gate 11 11 so a transition from all this situation into getting into a better chapter into your lives right where there's happiness, where there's joy, where you can enjoy each other's company, where you can be truly connected. This shows uh, two people that are really connected to one another, even marriage, as I said. So I feel like they just want to be done with this and kind of move on to like the next chapter. Let's take a look at your oracles now. For pile number three. See what we have to the sea. So yes, they're trying to sail towards where they feel like they need to go, right? They're trying to sail towards sorting out things, but also to the sea is a very strong representative of letting go, uh, letting go, and letting things move into the flow in their own um way okay so it's kind of like a situation where they do everything they can you know to to achieve the desired result but it also kind of like they have this feeling of of i need to also let go and and just allow things to unfold a natural way or it could be also that they feel about this connection that you know i cannot keep you since i cannot promise you anything um and i'm just gonna let things move into the direction that they naturally um, are moving and we'll see how things are gonna be but they hope that things are gonna change for the better we have observer so they're right now just like observing you from a distance um they do think about you they do want to like be with you they, they definitely have like this strong desire to see you but it looks like they they have like this um kind of spectator point of view where they took a step back and they're observing you from afar 
okay we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so yes their feelings for you are real and they want to explore these feelings they want to explore this connection to experience this connection to the fullest we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others and love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so your person is also maybe in this struggle or in these issues like asking the uh, friend, uh, help of friends they ask and accept support from others in these times and they're also focusing a lot on self-love because we have these feelings of loneliness these feelings of like being, uh, being left behind um, or not belonging and they're truly trying to work also on their self-respect which they feel like is gonna make them even more attractive to you but also it's something that they feel like they need to do uh, and is the healthy thing to do let's see keys on a ring many options decision unconventional string along one night stand so it could be that here it's portrayed um like as many options having things to kind of spread yourself right so they have a lot of directions that they need to be spreading towards um and that's why they cannot promise you anything it looks like these challenges these responsibilities this workload um it's kind of really like taking them their eyes only on just you right uh, otherwise they would just have this clear road but it looks like they have a, a variety of things kind of that they that need their attention we have cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head so yeah it looks like they are quite like overthinking and they are kind of repeating certain events over and over and it's kind of like reaching to a point where it becomes obsessive um and it could be that the, it could be these visions right because you say i'm stuck in visions of us together so it's kind of like a cassette that's just like repeating over and over because it says like i am stuck in visions of us together so like a cassette it, it's about like repeating things over and over so there are definitely uh could be that this is representing again how they uh repeat certain conversations or they repeat like uh, replay in their head certain moments of you two together or even imaginations that they have between the two of you we have hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand gambling so yes again the options again like having um a lot of things that take their attention or require their attention it looks like your person as i said is not giving up they're taking a chance they're risking they're being strategic they're trying to sort out everything um but not showing hand right so they're not talking about it they're not showing what they're doing they're not showing their feelings their true feelings they're not communicating they're not being open okay so yeah this is everything that i have for you my beautiful pal number three i really hope you enjoyed today's reading if you did don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye